Hey friends, welcome back to Oso oh Farm. Today is a fun day. Um, it is July 3rd and I have my daughter Evelyn and her boyfriend and his brother coming from Houston to stay for the 4th with us. Um, so they are going to leave Houston about lunchtime. It's coming up on that and it'll be about a, almost a three hour drive. So I don't think I've ever shown our extra house on our property. It is something that we have not put a dollar into. We truly have not updated it, worked on it. Um, initially when we moved here, we had our oldest teenagers living out here um, before they went off to college and now they have all moved, you know, um, Evelyn's at Baylor and Zeke has moved on and so it is an empty space. When we originally looked at this house, this was one of the features that we loved. We loved the idea of having this extra house. Um, it has a full bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, living space, laundry room. Um, for when Evan becomes an adult, he could live independently out here on our property, but then still have, you know, us to check in on him if that's something that um, would work out well for him. And then also to just have a space for all of the kids and their families, um, visitors, company, um, and Ideally, it would be a good space for the kids to hang out with with their friends out here where they're not in the main house and can have be a little bit louder and have some fun. So, I'm out here today to switch out all the sheets, scrub the shower, surface clean, and get everything ready for company. But I thought I would just show you around quick. So, okay, I'll start at the door. door it's metal the doorknob barely opens and we will have to replace um, the doorknob for sure but when you open it when you come in it's just one it's just one big room this is our old couch from our old living space in Houston and obviously it's way too big for this space and Buying a light colored couch with 10 kids at the time was a terrible idea. So it is really just kind of dingy and dirty, but it's clean. Like we, I'm gonna send one of the kids out here to vacuum it um, and then I'll kind of Febreze it because this is another, you know, two spaces for kiddos to sleep. Um, this is an old dining table that I think one of the girls had in college. Um, here's some old, Older family pictures that I'm gonna get hung up on the wall on these canvases. This is back when we lived in Houston. The girls always hold a white rose in honor of our oldest daughter, Elaine, that passed away. So anytime you see a family picture of ours, you can always look for the rose to represent her. We have not decided how we're gonna implement Ezra's memory into our family photos. That's something that we've been talking through. We have not, we've had family photos made once since he passed away, but um, we hadn't made a decision yet. So this was the boys. So this was all 10, six boys and four girls. They are such, such sweet pictures. So those will definitely go in here and be fun. So to kind of back up, there's all of our internet stuff so you know the table ideally would be here and then um, we probably will get just a smaller couch with maybe a sleeper sofa and then two chairs this is our old coffee table that i painted and stained and it is massive um eventually we're probably going to get rid of this piece of it's like nailed to the wall this built in and probably put the um, put the uh, TV here. This is my family's piano from forever ago. 
and it is really beat up. But when my daughter Evelyn has her first home, she'll probably take this with her. She originally was a piano pedagogy major at Baylor and then has since changed, but she is a gifted musician. And then the kitchen, we will keep the cabinets. We will definitely paint them. They are nice, they're solid wood. Um, and we'll do just new countertops, nothing super fancy, just really, um, you know, a solid surface. The appliances work. However, this microwave doesn't, so the kids had brought this in here. So really wouldn't be too hard to update or even too costly with just a new sink and new countertops and backsplash and some paint. Um, and then I have some of our excess foods out here. We've been trying to totally eat through it. This is just kind of our overflow of extra foods. There's a lot more canned goods in here, as you can see. And then this is like a really odd little shelf. It's not really that deep for anything, but um, anyways, that's there. And then there's a pocket door and we have, like I said, we've not painted or done anything. This is the bedroom. There is not a window in here, as you can see. And we're gonna put one that goes to the outside on this back wall. That is something that we're for sure gonna do and replace all the windows in here. Um, and then we'll probably, at that point, move the bed here. We have a crib here for when the um, Emma and her family comes to stay. And then in the future, when all of our other grandbabies are here. So it's a really nice space. This room, um, we have not replaced the fan or anything. It's not terrible, but we, just need paint and probably a dresser in here. And then here is the bathroom. Here's Evie's little college <laughs> aquarium we need to empty. So we just need a new mirror and countertops, light fixtures, paint the cabinets, maybe update the shower a little bit and then the view is actually really pretty that just kind of goes out into our canyon has this huge closet that has been a dumping ground again i've got an excess of pantry stuff and some of the girls old memorabilia old stuffed animals purses books they've outgrown but don't want to part with so just random this here's the air mattresses that we're gonna blow up for company. And this is the, this is all of Evelyn's stuff. She's been cleaning out her room. This is the stuff that she does not want anymore. And then this was Evelyn's room. This is actually the laundry room, um, but she, has had her stuff here since she was in college. And so this is the stuff that she's packed up to take with to cut back to college with her. And then her, she loves this little old fashioned pink chair. And then this is Zeke's stuff. I just noticed that he just moved back into his apartment and I've got to get that to him. So my sweet Evie has, she's our artist. <laughs> so obviously in here, it's the laundry room. So um, we just need to paint and actually this room, Brian and I are talking about making it like a root cellar and making it a cold room and adding a tent. Like we would have the laundry room in here, like the washer dryer, so that when people came to stay, they would have access to that. But then maybe do the shelving in here and over here for all of our canning and preserving. Um, we're thinking about that. And then it's got this really good sized closet and Evie's fancy coffee maker. She's a coffee girl like me. So it is a great, great space. <laughs> and we use it all the time. Anytime the kids come and stay, everybody, you know, piles out up out here. Um, so today I'm just surface cleaning and making sure that it is not, there's a lot of dead flies and bugs and it needs to be swept out. So eventually 
when this is all remodeled in future time, it'll be a really great um, space. But we're still currently so, so thankful to have this extra space for the kids to get some good rest and, you know, for Emma and them to have some privacy when they come and stay for an extended time, you know, a couple days gives them a break to come out here and, and relax. So, I anyway, just want to show you. Tell you what, uh, let's see, we're making up rules as we go. Um, just have fun. Just have fun. How about that? Open up the cooler. <laughs> go get him, Evan. Yeah, all right. Evan. Yeah, look at my face. I look like that's not how my skin looks. 